Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Logitech G735 wireless gaming headset. Opening up the box, you'll find the headset nestled inside the eco-friendly cloud-themed packaging. Just underneath, I came across all the accessories that I needed for connection and charging, like this generously long USB-C charging cable with a USB extender, a detachable mic with blue voice tech, and a Lightspeed wireless USB receiver. Setting these aside, let's take a look into the connection methods. It's a wireless headset that does connect via Bluetooth and receiver, but it's great to see that I have the option of both, especially when connecting to PC and Mac devices that might favour one method over the other. I love that there's a set of handy connection instructions printed on the inside of the lid. It really saves second guessing and eliminates any problems from the start. For this review, I'll be using the wireless receiver, as I found it's the quickest way to connect to my PC or games console, and should give me a more consistent connection throughout use. But with Bluetooth, I do like being able to connect to more devices like my phone, for example, for playing music on the go. The headset itself is very pleasing to the eye. One thing Logitech seems to get right is the styling. This headset is part of the Aurora collection that comes with the matching keyboard and mouse. Having used the set together, they do work in harmony really well, as they have the same connectivity and customization through the G-Hub, and they share the same theming. It easily completes that unified, minimal look for your gaming setup. Now I love the combination of materials used here. The headband and ear cups are covered in an off-white leather that's ridiculously soft to the touch. It makes it so much easier to clean, and it doesn't hold any unwanted smells as much as fabric. The inner cups are covered in a breathable lilac material with a large white L and R for visual aid when putting it on the right way. The outer cups are made from a matte plastic with these attractive shiny G logos in the middle that reflect light nicely. I love the all white styling, especially considering the RGB lights as they stand out beautifully no matter what your colour choice. Though the lights are not the only thing you can customise, there are also two alternative colour options available in the form of replacement ear cups and microphone. As it's a wireless headset, there's a huge huge variety of onboard controls to play with. The left ear cup seems to hold the majority of the buttons and connections. Along the outside, you get the little LED light for indicating power status, a power button, a volume wheel, a mic mute button, a 3.5mm audio input, a USB-C for charging, and finally the input for the microphone. The right ear cup holds a small LED, but this time for Bluetooth indication, as well as the Bluetooth button with switching capabilities that swap between Bluetooth and light speed modes with one touch, and a slightly unique rocker below that allows you to affect the mix volume between both inputs. The ability to listen to audio input from both Bluetooth and the receiver simultaneously is a must-have feature for me, as I often like to listen to music and my computer audio at the same time, and being able to utilise both in the same headset is perfect for the multitude of activities like gaming and listening to music at the same time or even just switching between video on your PC and video on your phone without messing around with audio device input. One of the best features visually speaking has to be the RGB lights. I love the soft glow and even how they interact with certain buttons right out of the box. They just seem more intelligent than your usual ornamental lights. The benefits of having a Logitech device is the ability to utilise the G-Hub. Other than monitoring the battery and functions, it's also a one-stop shop for manipulating the lights. And there's a good sized bank of presets, animations and static light patterns to choose from, and you you can even choose from your own specific colours to suit your mood and tastes. I particularly love the animations, just because I like to make the most of the feature, but I also like the nice ambient lights too, especially with the different colour zones that blend together for a more relaxing atmosphere. Putting the headset on, I immediately had some mixed feelings over the fit. Now the headband is nice and spongy to the touch, but once on, it kind of feels a little rigid seeing as it's made from a solid band. It does have a bit of flex though, and the adjustment height caters to my regular head size, as well as collapsing down to a small enough size that could fit a child's head too. The ear cups are nice and snug. The inner cups are large enough for my ears to sit inside comfortably without restricting or pinching, which is perfect for wearing over long periods of time when gaming. They even have a bit of movement up and down, so they're not entirely rigid and helps me angle them around the shape of my head for a firmer clamping force. They are quite snug, but that's also good for a natural noise cancelling effect. As the ear cups come in different colours, they are removable if you find yourself needing to clean or replace them over time. Something I do find helpful though is having the ability to twist the ear cups 90 degrees to lie flat against my chest when around my neck. I find that most headsets with this feature often hug my neck a little tight, but this one feels loose and comfortable enough that I can utilise this function more often. As you can see, the microphone is fully detachable and simply plugs into place when you need it. It is a good length and bendable 
helpful for altering how close it sits to my mouth. Sadly, I can't point it upwards out of the way when I'm not using it, so I would need to disconnect it completely if I don't need it. Using the headset seems pretty uncomplicated. The controls are all positioned on the back of the ear cups along the side within easy reach. They are a little close together, but I feel that they are different enough to the touch that I don't find myself pressing the wrong one too often. I like that each button also has audio confirmation with individual sounds accompanying the actions that I make. There's a nice on and off jingle that's helpful when knowing when it's powered down, and the bells for switching between the Bluetooth and light speed receiver are quick and easily distinguishable. The volume wheel even makes a little blip sound when you reach max volume, which is great for knowing how loud the output is by ear alone. I like how the volume wheel also isn't just a smooth, uninterrupted movement either. It moves in increments, so it's harder to knock the volume to a minimum or max settings by accident. Even if I can't quite remember the function of all the buttons, it's great to know which controls I'm affecting just by ear, without needing to take the headset off. Perfect for undisturbed gameplay. Of course, the most important thing here is the sound output. Trying out a variety of content like music, videos and gameplay, I found the bass to be exceptional. Now it's quite deep and plays into the layered sounds from movies and games, giving more of an atmospheric experience. The sound overall is really detailed, it's definitely got layers and it's compatible with spatial sound effects for hearing directional sounds within gameplay. It's also compatible with Dolby Atmos 2. So if you combine this feature with the fact that it has a range of up to 20 meters, it is brilliant for sitting comfortably far away from your TV when console gaming while getting some high quality sound. It does have 40 mil drivers as well, so I'm not surprised that the audio quality is pretty solid and rich. It can be a little on the quiet side even on full volume though, but utilizing the G-Hub really helps tweak the sound output to exactly the right levels based on your own personal comfort. It's a much better alternative to some of the wireless gaming headsets that I've tried in the past year, and even considering the higher price point than some of its competitors, I always look for a headset that's both compatible across all of my devices, as well as being adaptable across various media without losing quality. Of course, it's always hard to take my word for it, so here's a quick sound sample of various content to give you an idea on the quality on offer here. As I'll mainly be using it for gaming, the microphone quality is a high priority. It does have some handy features that make it stand out compared to standard microphones like the Blue Voice, which when connecting to the PC, lets you manipulate the mic output for a cleaner sound using noise reduction and EQ, as well as adding fun filters to make the game chat a little more playful. With all these additional features, it does give a higher level of control, so I'm able to reduce any likelihood of getting disruptive feedback or exterior sounds ruining the quality of my chat audio. And as you can hear, my voice is coming out loud and clear. Now that is after a little bit of tweaking, but at least I know my teammates will be able to hear me perfectly fine. And of course, that means getting rid of any of that annoying background sound. So after using this headset over a few hours, I'm pleasantly surprised with the versatility on offer here. It has multiple connection options, so I'm never really stuck for connecting to my devices quickly. It's lightweight and fits my head quite well, considering it's built predominantly for smaller head sizes. I really love the RGB lighting though, especially with how in-depth it can be customised and how it reacts in time with audio output in music and games. Though the audio adjustments within the G-Hub are very detailed and quite advanced, it can go a little over my head sometimes, but even with the default settings, the audio quality is premium especially in the bass and spatial game sound. So if you're looking for a new gaming headset with a little extra personality, this headset can really make a difference to your gameplay, both in style and performance. So what are your thoughts on the Logitech G735 Aurora wireless gaming headset? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.